Breaking news. Josh Duggar has moved into a new, improved jail room that gives him special rights while he serves his 151-month sentence for child pornography charges. Josh, 36, started his sentence at FCI Segoville in Dallas, Texas, in December 2021. He will be free in October 2032. The U.S. Send is the only news source that can confirm that Josh has moved into a newly rebuilt room with extra perks and rights. They were able to paint the walls and add flowers to Dorm 6, which is where Josh lives. A source told the U.S. Son, it's been turned into an honors dorm. Because it's an honors dorm, they get extra benefits and building updates. One can find washers and dryers, stoves, and other things. They want to make a room full of good prisoners. The source also said that prisoners staying in the dorms must have a job and sign a code of conduct agreement can't have any disciplinary actions in a certain amount of time. Someone who knows thinks Josh might be getting special treatment since he doesn't meet the requirements to live in the apartment. It looks like Josh doesn't work, but he is in school, so they're counting that as an exception and letting him stay. He should not be able to live there according to the rules because he spent time in SHU a few years ago, but they have chosen to let him. Joshua was put in the special housing unit at FCI Segoville in February 2023 after he brought a cell phone into the jail without permission. This is also known as solitary confinement. Josh Duggar's appeal of his sentence for child sex abuse photos was turned down by the Supreme Court. He will stay in jail until 2032. In that moment, a family member of a prisoner told the U.S. Son, I would be very surprised if he has been released as most of the people in there have been in there for months. He has to wait until his hearing for being fired. The Bureau of Federal Prisons says that people who are locked up in the shoe can only make one telephone call per month. Visitation is either restricted or disallowed based on the reason the person is being held. In March of that year, he was let out of the shoe. When the U.S. son asked Segoville for a comment on the lush room, a spokesperson said, Unfortunately, FCI Segoville does not comment on conditions of confinement. The famous person who used to be on 19 kids and counting is now in jail. A witness had told the U.S. Son, Josh has been signing prisoners' family members' copies of newspaper articles about him. While Josh was working on his degree, he could also spend his days doing physical exercises. Inmates at Segoville can play pickleball, tennis, basketball, horseshoes, and run on a track. Inmates have free time early in the morning. One source told the U.S. Son, they stay inside for a few hours and might go outside again later in the afternoon. Prisoners could also play instruments, since some of them play guitar outside during free time. Josh Duggar, who used to be on 19 kids and counting, got 151 months in jail in December 2021 for getting and having pictures of child sex abuse. The ex-reality star has been in a lot of legal trouble. Josh was first accused of getting material about sexual abuse of children in May 2019, after Homeland Security investigators looked into it. Later that November, Homeland Security went to Josh's job at a car showroom to look through his computer. Josh was caught on April 29, 2021, and was being held in an Arkansas jail without bail. The next day, he was charged with getting and having child sex abuse pictures during a meeting at the U.S. District Court for the Western District of Arkansas via Zoom. He pleaded not guilty to the charges. As of December 9, 2021, Josh had been found guilty after his hearing began on November 30, 2021, in a federal courtroom in Fayetteville, Arkansas. He was found guilty of knowing about and getting information about child sex abuse. Josh was given a 12-year federal jail term and told to pay $50,100 in fines and special charges in May 2022. Later, Josh's lawyers tried to get the sentence overturned by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. But in late 2023, they were turned down. Soon after, Josh asked for a new hearing again. His lawyer said that federal agents wouldn't let Josh call him while he was being arrested. Josh's request was turned down again on June 24, 2024. In April 2021, Josh was caught and charged with having child pornography and getting it. After being tried for almost two weeks in Arkansas, he was found guilty. Josh was given a 151-month federal jail sentence in May and was sent to FCI Segoville in June 2022. Josh's lawyers put in an appeal to get the sentence thrown out and a new trial set for October 2022. In one of their points, 
They said that federal officials took Josh's phone when he tried to call his lawyer during a raid on his car lot about a year and a half before he was arrested. The court papers say he talked to the agents without his lawyer being there. In November 2023, the appeal was turned down. Then, in 2024, the Supreme Court formally turned down the challenge of the verdict. It looks like Josh is still married to his 36-year-old wife Anna because she has been seen going to the jail with their seven young children. The public is still very interested in the story of Josh Duggar, the oldest son of the famous Duggar family. Duggar's life changed dramatically after he was found guilty of possessing child sexual abuse material in 2021. He was once well known for his roles on 19 Kids and Counting. Josh Duggar is currently serving a long jail term at the Federal Correctional Institute, FCI, in Segoville, Texas. He is said to have moved into a newly rebuilt room within the facility, which has led to reports of him getting special treatment. Duggar's new life in jail has caused a lot of debate. He is said to be starting over in a newly rebuilt space with flowers all around him, and he is even said to be studying for a college degree. The news reporters and people who follow the Duggar family are both interested in Josh Duggar's move to a rebuilt room at FCI Segoville. Reports say that the room was recently rebuilt, making it a better place to live than other parts of the jail. He is said to have moved to this new place with a few other prisoners. There aren't many details about the renovations yet, but people inside the jail have said that there are new furniture, better facilities, and even flowers to make the place look nicer. Many people are shocked by this news, and they want to know why Duggar is getting such special treatment while she is in prison for such major crimes. For people who don't know much about life in a federal jail, Dorms are usually shared living areas that are made to hold many prisoners. Most of the time, these shared spaces have bunk beds, shared bathrooms, and not much personal space. But the description of a newly rebuilt room, complete with flowers, has led to charges of bias. Some people think that Duggar's fame and his family's power may have played a part in getting him this better living situation. Besides the flowers and the improvements, rumors of special privileges, have made people even more interested in Duggar's time in jail. According to some sources, Duggar has access to tools and activities that other prisoners do not, such as more free time to play and learn. One of the most interesting perks being talked about is the idea that Duggar wants to go to college. Reports say that Duggar has signed up for an online learning program and is using his time in jail to get a degree. It's common for prisoners to use educational opportunities while they're locked up, Many prisons promote education as a way to help prisoners get better, but the attention on Duggar's studies has led to rumors that he is getting extra help and attention that other prisoners may not be getting. There is still disagreement about whether Duggar is really getting special care. Certain people say he's just using tools that are open to all prisoners, while others say that because he's famous, the rules are being applied differently. The idea that Josh is living in a nicer place and working toward a degree has made people who don't like the Duggar family dislike the disgraced reality star even more. The fact that Josh Duggar chose to go to college while he was in jail makes his public story even more complicated. Some say that Duggar is studying at home and wants to get a degree in either business or religion studies. However, these rumors have not been proven by government sources.